What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this session, we're gonna get a little deeper into mixing and bus techniques. So let's get after it. Okay, so at the beginning of our project, we ended up creating this swell pad over here, which is a good sound, but we haven't used it yet. It'll be a good sound for the verse though. Let's give it a quick listen. Yeah, not bad, um, but we got to treat it a little bit more lively. It needs to play along with the rest of the track. And right now it's just kind of sitting there. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is that we're going to use bussing techniques to actually get this swell pad to be a little bit more lively and play along a little bit better with the rest of the mix. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and actually send this particular sound somewhere else. I'll say bus, and I'm going to send it to bus number three. Okay, you can see it shows up right over here. Now, what a bus is going to allow us to do is that it's actually going to allow us to send signal along to the master out, but it also allows us to insert other instruments along the way. So what I actually want to do is that I don't just want to play this pad. I want to play this pad with a sequenced kind of pattern. And there's a lot of plugins that let you do this, but Logic also lets you do this internally as well. So right now we'll show you how, how to get that done. I'm gonna send this out to bus three, and I wanna make sure that this is sending out a really solid signal. In fact, I'm just gonna option click on the send over here, and that'll set it to zero. That's the way that we can set default settings in Logic. Typically an option click will set whatever the default setting is. Great. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to quickly just record the actual phrase itself um, so that I've got something to work with when I create a new track. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. I'll hit record and we'll just lay down a verse really quickly. So that's a that's pretty good, and uh, if we hear that back, here's what that currently sounds like. Alright, now if we listen to the original recording, there's kind of this rhythmic pattern in these pads, and let's hear what that sounds like. And I'm going to redo that pattern, but I'm going to do that using a different tool um, called Ultra Beat. So I've got this bust out to um, bus three. Let's go ahead and create a new track. And it'll be a software instrument track. It'll be an Ultra Beat track. Click create. And one of the great um, presets that you get inside of Ultra Beat is a sidechain processor. So if I go to the library here, head down to sidechain gate is actually the one that we want to use. Uh, this will allow us to use some programs, some sequenced patterns that we can append to this swell pad. So let's go ahead and open up Ultra Beat. And up here in the top right hand corner, I'm going to set the sidechain input to be bus three. That's where we're sending stuff to. So I'll go ahead and do that. Great. Now I'll turn on my sequencer and I'm just going to switch over to where it says full view down here at the bottom right. And you can see there's already a pattern ready for us to use. In fact, there's a bunch of patterns that come with pretty much every Ultra Beat preset. So if I press the space bar, let's take a listen to see what this sounds like. Cool. We can choose some different presets to get some different ideas of what each of these settings here on the left hand side, which in this case, these are individual sidechain processing presets. So if I click on this, choose a second one, we can get some different types of sounds. And we can just switch between different presets. Cool. 
Now, these aren't bad, but they're not exactly the sound we're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and program one in. I'm going to go to a completely different, um, completely blank uh, preset. And I'm just going to choose, um, you know, a couple different settings. So I think it's here and then there. And let me go ahead and actually just shorten this up a little bit and see what that gets us. Let's try a couple different options. They're not quite coming through. There we go. And by the way, I was able to shorten the phrase by clicking and dragging this little uh, phrase length option here. And I'm just typing in, I'm just plugging in the rhythm that I'm actually looking for here. So it's on the one, on the three, and then on the seven, and then it repeats the phrase all together. Cool. Great. Now that's coming through pretty good, but I'm also getting a really strong mix of the original signal, and I'm really just interested in the sidechain signal. I don't really want to hear the original sound. So now that I've got the actual pattern plugged in, let's close sidechain out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the swell pad. And right now, underneath this bus, what I want to do is I actually want to send this as a pre-fader bus. What this does is that it basically sends the signal over to our side chain prior to actually getting to the, the master out. And what this allows us to do is that it actually allows us to turn down this particular signal entirely so we don't actually hear anything coming out of the stereo out. In fact, we could even say no output altogether so that what we end up getting is just a sidechain signal out of Ultrabeat. So again, we're generating the signal in the swell pad, but we're bussing out uh, as a, a parallel bus over to Ultrabeat. And then all the signal is just getting to Ultrabeat first. So let's hear what that sounds like now. And so that means that we can go into retro synth, we can bring the mix down a little bit on this one so that we're not overloading uh, what's going into Ultra Beat. We can treat the Ultra Beat sound a little bit more as well. So if we go into Ultra Beat, get out of our full view, we can bring the envelope down a little bit, smooth out the sound. And uh, if it's too loud, we can put a compressor on there. It's usually a good idea to just always have a compressor. Let's mute it so we can hear what we've got all together. So those are just some sidechain techniques that you can use to really start making your instruments really play well together and in context of the rest of your song. Bussing is a really solid tool that you can use inside of Logic and hopefully that gives you enough to get started with some of the ideas there.